So I was out here today just strolling through the hoop house and something caught my eye and I thought I gotta show this to you guys because I know there's a lot of you out there that are a little bit worried about your cuttings and you shouldn't be. Let's go check it out. Yeah, it's a mess in here. What are you gonna do? Check that, all these roadies. Look at that. We're gonna, this isn't what the video is about but it's gonna be partly what it's about. Look at that, look at that. Man, we got blooms on that sucker. This is shamrock. The little flowers come out kind of a greenish color. It's really cool. But all these roadies are gonna just blow up with growth here soon. Not a lot of flowers, they're young, but they're gonna be really cool in the end. And then we head over here, ooh, look at this. Look at that, that's those little blueberry cuttings. You guys are chomping at the bit to see that stuff, aren't you? I got all kinds of little projects going on over here, but this is what I wanted to show you. These are the hydrangeas, guys. Look at this. I hear people all the time, or I see them on our little site on the Facebook page saying my hydrangea cuttings that I started last fall or last summer are turning brown and they look like they're rotting and dying. This looks like it's rotting and dying, doesn't it? Look at that. It looks like it's rotting and dying. I think it does. But look, patience guys. Let's see, let me see if I can get this to, let me put my hand behind this. Look at that. That is not death. That is life. Do you see those buds? I know you don't believe me. Look at that. It looks like it's dead, but it's just a dormant twig. Let's see if we can get closer. Come on. Get a little better light. We're going to get this for you. Do you see that? Those are life-giving buds. They are going to start growing. Stop worrying so much. Look at that. Here's some more. Look at that. Beautiful green growth. This thing looks dead. But look at that. Starting to warm up. Look at this, guys. This one, too. I don't know what it's going to do. Maybe he is dead. I don't know. Look at this. Another one. This is not dead. A lot of times we think these things are dead. Look at that. Looks like dead brown tissue. Because that was a beautiful green, viable looking green cutting. That was a green stem last uh, summer when we took it. And now look. It looked dead, but look. We got new growth coming out. Let me get my hand behind that. We got new growth, guys. It's coming out. It's happening. Let's get that. Let's get a better background here for you. Is that gonna work? Growth, life. It's alive. Let's get it back in there. How about this other one? Another one looks dead. Look at that. The leaf fell off. It was green. It turned brown. It's dying. Look at that. Look at that little tiny bit of green growth. Look at that beauty. Isn't she cute? It's growing. It's doing just fine. It's not dead. It's just dormant. That's all. But it's starting to grow again. It's starting to grow again. These guys are doing really well. So stop worrying so much. And it got down to, I mean, you know, these are cold hardy for my area. I know some of you guys in Wisconsin are going to say, well, I get negative 20 in my place and I wouldn't recommend you grow cuttings like this. And I have other methods for overwintering those kinds of rooted cuttings in freezing, like below freezing temperatures. But for my area, these little cuttings, these plants are cold hardy to my region. I give them a little bit extra protection, just put them in a tote. I've not had these guys sealed. I just put the cover on. I've got everything open on both ends. Quit looking at those burning bushes. I've got everything open around the ends so airflow can get in there. It just protects them a little bit. That's all it does from wind, from fast hard frost, just that kind of stuff. Here's a little project. Yeah, you'll like that one when it starts coming out. Anyway, there it is. Little hydrangeas are doing good. So there's a quick little one for you guys just to say happy spring and let you know that everything is going to be all right. Just relax. Let nature take its course. These things are going to grow really well. We'll let them grow in here for a season and then next year we'll plant them out on the property or sell them or do something else with them. But they're doing great and those are the hydrangeas from that Oregon nursery from the original video that I did four years ago or so, maybe five years ago, and I actually did another video about these last fall. I've actually taken these cuttings. If you're interested, go click on the links. I'll put them down in the description below there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along and see just how well those little guys do. Have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios!